Man, I'm so glad that we got to spend a few more measures with that riff there uh, at the end because I, I really enjoy that riff. It reminds me of a lot of music that I listened to growing up, so I, I like that a lot. Yo, what is going on, everybody? Welcome to another episode of React Tag. I am Orange, and we continue our 30 days of bandmade. This is officially day three and another music video that we're taking a look at. This is before yesterday. So I'm starting with their older catalog. Uh, I know I started like with their most recent one at the beginning of this. Well, I guess we don't technically consider that one, but um, we're going to go from their older stuff probably to their newer stuff, give or take, kind of flopping in between every now and then. Uh, but I wanted to take a look at this because I saw the thumbnail, I saw them outside. I want to see them in a little bit different element than like in a room or on a stage. I want to take a look at this music video. And again, it's one of their older ones. So I want to see where they come from, guys. This is band made before yesterday. Let's get into the reaction. Okay, got some live chanting. Maybe like half live show, half music video, right? Before yesterday. Oh, it's counting down. So right out of the gate, uh, that to me, that's like a total like emo riff, right? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like emo riff right at the gate right there. Like post hardcore emo rift riff. I'm just saying. <laughs> Come on now. Uh, I'm, I love this band, man. That punk element with the bass. See the are, nope. I love that this is a total punk rock song. They're sitting there looking through the vinyls and the old artwork and stuff. I love this. This is super freaking cool. I want to start from the beginning, man. I feel like I missed a lot there at the beginning with the, the melodies and stuff. But total punk rock vibe with the bass just chugging along and stuff. I love this. Hell yeah, dude. This makes me want to like start writing my own shit. Like now I don't know if they actually wear these out in public or if this was just like they were kind of out doing like a uh, press thing or they were shopping and, and just filming some stuff. I, I don't know. I could be wrong. But uh, they look like they're out having fun. And again, this song, this is a total punk rock song. Even the build up. Oh, yeah, okay, we got the halftime chorus. There's that riff again. I love that riff. <laughs> I love it, man. No, I'm really, I'm really digging this. It's a lot of fun. Uh, it, it, it's, it's cool to see these girls, like I said, in a different context. Um, this is very different from everything that I've heard before. Uh, even though there are the punk elements in the other songs that we've listened to. But this, to me, is it's more of like a straightforward, like, kind of like emo riffy, especially with that chorus, right? That, like, kind of like halftime chorus with the drums. Uh, and then you're going back into that, like, that, da -da 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 -da. it reminds me of something like uh, Story of the Year or something would have done, right? Like, back in the day. Um, and this is right up my alley, bro. This is the kind of shit that I, like, grew up listening to. So, hell yeah, let's go. That did it, did it, that riff. That's that shit I'm talking about right there. Oh, 
All right, so so far, my favorites are the drummer, and I don't know, maybe I got to think for drummers. Uh, shout out, pal, uh, from the morning. And the lead singer. I, I, her melodies are fantastic, and they're almost like entrancing in a way, right? Like, uh, you just want to hear what's next. Even though you don't know what she's saying, you just want to hear it next. You know what I mean? I think you all know what I mean. That is so crazy how, like, just out of nowhere, they change it up into more like a like a heavier metal type sound, which there is like, I mean, even in the beginning of that, right before the solo, there's like this whole kind of like, hard, like again, hardcore, like, emo vibe to it with that, like, heavy breakdown. Um, the only thing is, is it, it's, it's a breakdown in that sense, uh, but it's not like super heavy guitar, but then goes into this, like, super heavy guitar chug solo thing which i think is super cool so the way that the melodies are very unique the structuring of the music is very unique um i get why people like this band because i think because i think here's the thing i think just calling it punk rock uh is not necessarily giving it the credit it deserves because it's not just punk rock there's so many more elements to it um there's a foundation of it there but it, it there's just so many other little like droplets in in there that i that i think are just great and and this part is a perfect example of that right here i mean you can hear like like some really heavy guitar in there but you don't hear it there until the solo kicks in which i think is really interesting uh structurally right here that, that second guitar playing the rhythm. And the solo shreds. Classic punk rock build up. That's a bass guitar. There, that rip, I love that fucking rip every time. Man, I'm so glad that we got to spend a few more measures with that riff there uh, at the end because I, I really enjoy that riff. It reminds me of a lot of music that I listened to growing up, so I, I like that a lot. Um, this band is super different, and, and, to, and to, to react to their newest one and then this one with a completely different sound from you know so many years ago, I see, I, I, I see the evolution – kind of in between but i can't wait to actually dive into the evolution in between and, and watch these girls and where they've come from because this is really cool man um and to see this and what it's evolved into but not the in between is kind of interesting contrast because i'm gonna get to see what's all in between anyway let me know in the comments down what you guys saw this one let's finish it out Glad we got to spend more time in that room, man. 
Absolutely great, y'all. You got to let me know in the comments down below what y'all thought of this one. Uh, you know, I love that you guys are telling me stories, too, of like, oh, this was like, you know, the biggest one at one point, And then the next biggest one came out. And like, you guys have been just killing the game in the comments. I think everybody for subbing to the channel, you guys are blowing the channel up. I don't know what else to say. You maniacs are awesome. I, I'm going to call myself a maniac now because I really liked that. That was a lot of fun. And I mean... The fans, y'all make it, man. It's the same thing with the warning. Shout out to the warning army. Those are my people too, man. And y'all are just, y'all know how to really appreciate good stuff. And I, I, I can dig with that. That's why I surround myself with you people. Anyway, I love you all. Y'all are amazing, man. Do me a favor. Like I said, comment down below. Let me know if you guys like this sort of thing. We're, we just finished day three. We got, I don't know how many more days. What, 27 days left to go? 28 days? 27? I don't know. I don't do math. I listen to music. Anyway, y'all, comment down below. Hit the sub button. Y'all know what to do with it. I'm going to get out of here. We'll catch you on the next one. Thank you all, and remember, everybody, stay nuclear. Peace.